I'm going to look at the angle between two lines on this video. So just a little reminder about scalar product that you did last year where you could look at the angle between two vectors. If you imagine we have these vectors a and b, uh, remember scalar product did these. So you multiply across uh, those matching pairs and add them together. And you also had this result where the scalar product was equal to the magnitude of a times magnitude of b multiplied by cos of theta, where theta was the angle between the two vectors. Now the following scenario, I'm going to try and help you see it 3D. Um, oh yeah, just a reminder, theta had to be when those angles were moving, uh, those vectors were moving in the same direction as well. Right, now here we have two planes and I've drawn that line as if it was a skewer going through those two planes. So you can sort of see it a bit 3D. Imagine we have this line on um, the top plane, the vector A, and then on the bottom line we have a at the bottom plane we have the line that is represented here by the vector b and we want to find the angle between them. Now what that actually means is we translate that direction of b onto the plane where a is and we're finding the angle between those two there. So when we're asked to look for the angle between the lines what we're actually being asked for is the angle between their directions. So let's see how this works in action. We're going to find the angle between these two lines. So we're only interested in their directions. We want the angle between the directions. And remember that cos of that angle is going to use this scalar product divided by the product of their magnitudes. So we work those out. Here's the scalar product. We're going to divide it by the, um, the length of A and the length of B. So if we carry on that calculation, we get 0 0.598, three significant figures. Remember, don't round too early. Keep that in your calculator. And now we can do inverse cos of it, and we get our angle is 53.3 degrees. Okay, now also remember that if you are talking about perpendicular vectors or perpendicular lines, that means the angle between them is 90 degrees. This gives us the result that cos of theta will equal 0 which gives us that the scalar product will also equal zero. This is a very useful result that you will need to use in questions.